This is the story of the Aristocats. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. Madame Adelaide Bonfamille was a kind old lady who lived in a large townhouse in Paris. She lived there with her cat, Duchess, and Duchess's three kittens, Marie, Toulouse, and Berlioz, and also Roquefort the mouse, Frou-Frou the horse, and the butler, Edgar. Madame Bonfamille had asked her old friend and lawyer, Georges Hautcourt, to come to the house so that she could change her will. She wanted to leave her entire fortune to Duchess and the kittens, so that they would always be cared for. After their death, the money was to go to Edgar, her butler. Edgar, however, was very unhappy that the cats would inherit the money first, so he plotted to do away with Duchess and the kittens. He took a sleeping potion and dissolved it in some warm milk. That evening, Duchess, the kittens, and Roquefort drank the milk and fell fast asleep. Edgar put the cats in a basket and carried them outside to his motorcycle. He placed them in the sidecar and drove out of Paris into the country. Napoleon and Lafayette were two touchy dogs who felt it was their duty to intercept all passing vehicles. Edgar just happened to be on their road. As he approached a bridge, the dogs charged and the motorcycle was forced to swerve off the road. The basket with Duchess and the kittens fell off by the stream, while the dogs chased Edgar back towards Paris. When Duchess awoke, she was surprised to find herself in the country and alone. She called to the kittens and found them one by one. When it started to rain, they climbed back into the basket and went back to sleep. In Paris, the sound of the storm awoke Madame Bonfamille. She got up to see if the cats were all right and was shocked to find their beds empty. She searched the house, but to no avail. The next morning, Duchess and the kittens met Thomas O'Malley, a carefree alley cat. He promised to help them get back to Paris. He told Duchess and the kittens to hide in the bushes by the side of the road. When an old truck approached, O'Malley jumped onto it, screeching at the driver through the windscreen, which frightened him so much that he stopped the truck. Hurriedly, O'Malley, Duchess, and the kittens climbed into the back. In no time at all, they were on their way back to Paris. O'Malley discovered that it was a milk truck they were on and invited them all to breakfast. But the driver noticed the cats and chased them out of the truck. It was a long walk, but late that night they all reached Paris. O'Malley suggested that Duchess and the kittens spend the night at his home. They were all very tired and agreed. As they approached the house, they heard Scat Cat, one of O'Malley's musician friends, and his swinging jazz group of alley cats playing wild and wonderful music. O'Malley introduced the group to Duchess and the kittens, and after a couple of songs, the very tired kittens were put to bed. In the morning, the cats set out again for Madame Bonfamille's townhouse. When they reached it, they said goodbye to O'Malley. Edgar, very surprised to see the cats return, swooped down on them and put them into a sack. He took them to the carriage house and locked them up in a trunk labeled General Delivery Timbuktu Africa. Duchess, however, was able to tell Roquefort to get O'Malley. O'Malley, in turn, sent Roquefort to get Scat Cat and the other alley cats for their help. In the carriage house, things happened very quickly. 
O'Malley jumped onto Edgar. It wasn't much of a match for him until his friends, the Alley Cats, arrived. Then poor Edgar didn't have a chance. O'Malley let Duchess and the kittens out of the trunk just as Fru-Fru kicked Edgar into it. Then the baggage men arrived and took the trunk away. It was a happy ending all around, as Madame Bonfamille welcomed O'Malley into her household and set up a foundation for stray cats in the townhouse.